Hello and welcome back to another episode of Skyrim on Nixus Gaming. We're gonna go killing again. We're here with the Dark Brotherhood. Last episode we got the contract of a series of contracts that'll lead up to the ultimate goal of killing the Emperor. Starting off, we have to kill his first cousin, Vittoria Vici, at her own wedding in solitude. And we get a bonus if we kill her while she addresses the crowd. So let's go and view the wedding area. Throughout the game, you may find travelers along the roads through Skyrim talking about going to Solitude to attend a wedding. This is the wedding they're talking about. Like you must have you gotta come through this little castle courtyard here. I don't know if it'll be active at night. Um, that side's closed off. This side's not. I'm just here to provide protection for his eminence's cousin. Alright, so she's there. Ideally, we get up there. So let's go around this way. There are a few ways you can do this. You can just kill her outright if you really want to. But the fun part is if you get over to here, not like I did, um... I can't actually... Let me try that again. I have to do a sprint jump to get over there. Lydia just teleported in front of me. There we go. So this loose gargoyle can actually fall on her and kill her. Now the problem here, we have to wait for her to get up here. That is when she addresses the crowd at the wedding, and I can't exactly remember how to get her up here. Oh, maybe she's doing it right now? I will say it is very late in the day for a wedding, but she seems fine. Oh, she just used a door. He's up here. Everyone can see me. Good friend. She's doing it. She is addressing the crowd right now. Easy as that. Neighbors. My husband Aesgir and I. I'm gonna try and do it while invisible. We thank you for sharing the love we have for each other. Today, the problems of Skyrim are not my problems, nor are they yours. Hey, speaking of problems, you know what's not my problem? So please. Victoria, no! And it's still public. The whole idea is you have to do this. You have to be seen. There's no way to do this without being seen. But when you get down and you're out, you may notice Vizara's here to help you escape. Well, buddy, the chaos has erupted, so get fighting so I can get out of here. So yeah, the entire Imperial Legion here in Solitude is after us. Um, if you haven't done side quests in Solitude, you might want to get out as fast as you can. Because your companions will kind of go on a rampage. The guards will attack you, and a few of the citizens will attack you as well. And your companions will fight back. And they may very well kill the citizens. And those citizens might have important side quests for you to do. So is this guy... What is this guy doing? He's an enemy and I can't fast travel with him here. Is this... Is he far enough away? He is. Okay. Okay. And really, it's as easy as that. I made a big deal, like, it's one of my favorite quests in the Dark Brotherhood. Just the whole idea of going to a wedding and killing the bride in front of everyone on one of her most important days. The idea of it is super great. 
I do wish it was a little more drawn out than that, though. But, oh well. Uh, at some point, we should probably stop by the Thieves' Guild and get our bounty wiped out. <laughs> the news is everywhere. Vittoria Vici, the Emperor's cousin, butchered at her own wedding. Well done. Let's see his eminence try to ignore this. With Vici's murder, you've started us down a path the Dark Brotherhood hasn't traveled in centuries. The assassination of an emperor. And now your reward. A unique spell to summon a legend of the Dark Brotherhood. His soul serves us now in death, as his body once did in life. Ah, and of course, a bonus for killing Vici while she addressed her guests as instructed. Gold. Simple and pure. Spend it as you will. Now then, time to proceed to the next stage of the plan. Go and speak with Gabriella. She's been helping me arrange your next contract. Alright, so for finishing that quest, she gives us a spell. Now, I don't normally use spells, but I do want to show this one off. Is it the familiar? No, that, that's not it at all. That's not the right spell. Where is it? Oh, it's Spectral Assassin. It summons the ghost of the legendary assassin, Lucien Lechance, to fight by your side. Now, if you watched my Oblivion playthrough, or if you've played Oblivion, you may remember Lucien Lechance as the... What the f... Did, did I not just select... Am I not selecting this? What, what's going on here? Oh, I'm... What is going on? Why can't I not... Okay, there we go. I think I selected it now. There we go. He was the... He doesn't say anything. He's not really... Uh, drawn out at all, but he was, I want to say, the, 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 the important guy. I can't remember the ranks, because you were listener. He wasn't listener. He was the guy that doled out all the contracts. He was basically the Astrid of Oblivion. But yeah, he's back in this game, and a Dark Brotherhood member can just summon him whenever he feels like and bother him. Uh, he had a kind of sad end in Oblivion, though. There was a lot of betrayal happening in the Dark Brotherhood at that time, and that entire sanctuary, spoilers, was pretty much wiped out, including him. But that was a different game. Now we're here with Gabriella. Dear brother, I've been waiting for you. Your next contract awaits, as I'm sure Astrid indicated. She did. What are the details? With the Emperor's arrival in Skyrim now a certainty, his security service, the Penitus Oculatus, will need to begin its preparations immediately. Security is being handled by a Commander Morrow. Astrid and I have devised a plan to break the man, and in doing so, cripple the Emperor's protection. You are to slay the Commander's son, Gaius Morrow, and once he is dead, plant false evidence on his body, implicating him in a plot to kill the Emperor. He is set to leave the Penitus Oculatus outpost at Dragonbridge and inspect the security of each city in Skyrim. Go there now. Observe Gaius Morrow's departure and follow him. Waylay him in one of the cities and send his soul to Sippus. Once he's dead, plant the incriminating letter on his body and let fate take care of the rest. Oh, and one final thing. Yes? To earn your bonus, do not kill Gaius Morrow in Dragonbridge, or on the road. 
Kill him in one of the other major cities he'll be visiting. There, the body will be discovered quickly, as will the letter implicating Gaius Morrow in the plot to assassinate the Emperor. Do that, and Astrid has authorized me to grant you a rather unique bonus. It is a special token to be given to Olava the Feeble in Whiterun. Olava is an old and dear friend, and a powerful seer. The token entitles you to a reading of your future. It's an opportunity one should not pass up. So, do you know the schedule? No, so your best plan is to follow him after he leaves Dragonbridge. However, there is one other option. We know there's an actual written travel schedule, somewhere in the Penitus Arculatus outpost. Securing that would, obviously, be most beneficial. What will killing him accomplish? Killing Commander Morrow would do no good. Someone would merely replace him. No. We need him to remain in charge, but distracted, weakened. Implicate and kill his son Gaius, and the commander will be grief-stricken and humiliated, his family name ruined. The security plan will then fail. Best yet, the Emperor will be lulled into a false sense of security, thinking an assassination plot had already been discovered and foiled. Tell me about Dragon Bridge. It's a small town with one rather unique feature. It houses Skyrim's only Penitus Oculatus outpost. It was established by Commander Morrow when he first arrived in Skyrim several months ago, when he began preparing for the Emperor's initial visit. And what are your thoughts on Cicero, Cicero and the Night Mother? Without the Night Mother, there is no Dark Brotherhood. The Matron deserves our unwavering support and respect. Though I admit, I find her keeper a bit too exuberant for my liking. Walk in Gaius Morrow's shadow and deliver to him the judgment of Sithis. Speaker. That's what Lucien Lachance was. He was a speaker of the Dark Brotherhood. There were five of them. And they all end up dying in oblivion. But he was the speaker of the sanctuary. Because basically you have the listener that listens to the, uh, to the mother. Then you have the keeper that keeps the mother. And then you have the speaker who talks to the listener, gets the contracts, and then he doles it out to all the other Dark Brotherhood assassins. That's how it works. Also, I want my armor back Can for this. You, my, my stealth armor. So, Lydia, as tradition, you can take back the Imperial Dragon stuff. We do a trade off. Let's get going then. Time. The blades protected the Emperor. It would seem these Penitus Oculatus will prove equally incompetent. <laughs> Holy shit, I didn't know he actually spoke and said things. Okay. That's actually amazing. I've never really used him before. I don't use summoning stuff all that often. But that's really cool. Uh, before we go that way, we're gonna make a quick stop in Riften and clear our bounty which we can do because we are in the thieves guild it's gonna cost a little bit of gold but it'll save us from going to jail and from getting attacked by guards when we're there and it's the only way I really know how to combat the forced bounty they give you yes um that being said, I don't know who I talked to to do it. To see you again, friend. Brynjolf, do I talk to you? Yes, lad. Did you need something? Uh, no. Go and make us some coin, lad. It might be Delvin. Delvin handles pretty much everything in the guild. He might as well be guild master, honestly. All right, Delvin, I'm back. Always a pleasure, boss. What can I do for you? Um, 
If you're looking to get some coin for the fruits of Barrow, I also suggest you spend some time in the training room. The Succulatus will prove equally in Our guildmaster graces me with a visit. What can I do for you? Do fences do it? Where's Tanilia? If you're looking for extra work, talk to Vex or Delvin. They'll fix you up. Well, you could always... Or if you're looking for training, we've got plenty of it down here. Delvin, Vex, Nerowin, and Vipper can give you a leg up on that. Our guildmaster graces me with a visit. What can I do for you? Stalking your prey. If you're ever in need... Manting and besides myself, evidence. Delvin, Nerowin, and Vipper can help you with any sort of training... Destroying an innocent man's reputation. Skills. Truly a contract worthy of the listener. Uh, okay, I I don't know how to clear my bounty, actually. I mean, I still have a bounty, right? Why do I have a bounty in the rift? What? Uh, I'm not in a good spot if I have a bounty from the rift. Where do I... I somewhat remember it being guards that clear it. Let me try that, I guess. Uh, where's the closest guard? Like, right here? Hey, buddy. Stop right there. Um, yeah, I'm I'm with the guild. 500 gold. You make all your problems with the guards go away, but it'll cost you. What do you say? Yeah, I clear the bounty. Done. The move along first before you get me so in trouble. I took his eyes. It was a fair exchange. A thief took his purse, so he took his eyes. I'm actually like super, I love the dialogue he's giving me, I've never heard it before. And it's like a direct reference to Oblivion, so I love it. Also as far as I can tell, he's he's just here. Usually summons are temporary, but he's just staying with me. Which is really nice. Okay, that's the guy we gotta kill right no, no, here. Don't worry too much. I'll be fine. I know you will, but all the same, remember everything I said. Stay alert, and when you get to the cities, make your observations and move on. I understand. You're time. being paranoid. I'm the inspecting security. It's protected the Emperor. Not a lot that can go wrong. These penitents Son, matters. when the Emperor's safety is concerned, anything could go wrong. Incompetent. Off with you now, and good travels. Farewell, Father. I'll return as soon as I'm able. Well, this is it then. Look after yourself, Gaius. You're doing your duty and I'm proud of you, but you better come back to me. You hear? Oh, Fida. I may travel alone, but you know I carry you always in my heart. I'll see you soon. You pray. Planting false evidence. Destroy right. innocent the man's reputation. Oh, it's just letting us walk straight in. Okay, that works for me. And it's, it's literally just here on a table. Well, we will take that. You're completely useless. We are. I cut off my boy Lucian there, I feel bad. But whatever. Said we were bonded by the void. Okay, so what, what day is it right now? It is Midas. A... Meet us, he should be in Riften. But he's still here. Maybe he'll just automatically appear in Riften when we travel there? Remember, for the bonus, we have to kill him in a city. So there's no point in trying to catch him on the road. And this is a bonus that you'll probably want to get, because it leads to a side quest. Where is he?
is here in Helgen. It's Turdass now. Where I think he should be in White Run. We just gotta travel to these cities and hopefully catch him at some point. I think we'll end up meeting here in White Run. In fact, he is right over there out in the open. Be careful. Oh, is he in Dragon's Reach? He's coming down from Dragon's Reach. Keep back, citizen. I have important business I must attend to. Okay, how do I want to do this? What time is it? It's the evening. He's going into the Bannered Mare. Let's wait one hour. So he gets there. And we might be able to find him alone here. I think it said he gets food and he rests during the evening here at Whiterun. So if we can find him asleep... If you want anything. I think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. Let me quick save before I just start waiting a while for him to go to sleep. Need something? Why do we suddenly have like 50 guards in here though? I work with my mother to sell fruits and vegetables. Where are you going? Well, there's no way you're leaving already, right? Am I... Did I read that right? Food and sleep. He's not sleeping. Oh, he has a torch out like he's about to go somewhere. Did you know there are some fruits that actually grow better in the cold weather? Uh, this is gonna be... Interesting. In my time, the blades protected the Emperor. It would seem these Penitus Oculatus will prove equally incompetent. I don't think I can get him here. Because he's about to leave. There's guards over there. I would like to do this stealthily. I have important business I must attend to. Dude was supposed to sleep in the inn, but he didn't. Where's he going next? Markarth. Understone Keep. That's a widespread out area. That's not bad. Actually, I don't see him. Why is he walking this way? He should be over here. So let's go that way. Yeah. The cousin of the Emperor. The murdered. I don't see his marker anywhere. Oh, there. Why is he... He's going to Riften? I'm gonna travel to Riften, and he's gonna be in Markarth for whatever reason. This schedule doesn't work the way it says it does. Yeah, he's not here. It looks like he's on his way here, though. Good day, friend. Keeping well. Okay, he's in the inn. The be in the barb on the completely wrong day, but he's here. If you've got the coin. Come to the right place.
Let's turn that down. Let's see. It's hey, right here. Look at me that way. Who are you to judge me? If I can get him to just go to sleep like he should, then it'd be fine. Ours is to smile at your passing, friend. The Emperor. It would seem these penitus oculatus. Keep back, citizen. I have important business I must attend to. Go to sleep. <laughs> you have some nerve coming back here after what you did to Kirava. Bro, you literally just you called me a friend. Way? Why are you mad at me? Judge me. So it says sleep in the schedule, but I'm getting the idea that this guy doesn't sleep. Some nerve coming back here after what you shut up, Kirava. He, he just he just moves chairs. Okay, he's leaving. Riften has a few alleyways and stuff. Maybe, just maybe. Go down one where nobody will see me do this to him. In my, I'm the blades protecting the emperor. It would seem these penitus oculatus will prove equally incompetent. <laughs> Sneak attack doesn't even actually kill him. Okay, whatever. Whatever. You're obviously too beefy to even stealth kill, so... We're just gonna cut you down here. Oh, you got a letter from your father. I'll take that. And you can have that. My son, in order for the Penitus Oculatus to ensure the safety of our honored emperor during his visit to Skyrim, we must personally verify all the blah 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 blah. Guys, I cannot do this alone. There is work to be done. Blah blah blah. I figured this would- Oh, Gaius, my beloved son, you may be new, but I need someone I can trust to carry out your duty. I thought this would be more heartfelt, but it's not. You can actually, um, you can have that back, dude. I don't want it. Um, I'm with the guild. I can make all your problems with the guard. Now, move along before you get into Guys. Guys, it's done. It's done. You don't. You don't have to kill that guy. You don't. You don't have. I didn't do that. You, you saw that, right? I, I'm pretty sure you just saw whoever did that, but it definitely wasn't me, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Well, I guess that's a completed quest, a completed contract. Not done exactly like I would have wanted to, but. We completed it, nonetheless. <clears throat> Just kill him in a major city, plant the evidence. That is all we were told to do. I was hoping for a stealth kill, but that did not pan out. Ah, oh, at last. I've been anxiously awaiting your return. Uh, yeah, he's dead. Yes, I know. You know as does Astrid. A good you have done well, and have earned both your reward and a bonus, as I have mentioned. Needs. But you should know that we have a more pressing matter to deal with. It's... Cicero, there's been an incident. You should proceed into the sanctuary. 
I'll let Astrid explain. Okay, there's... Dank and dimly lit. Truly a sanctuary to call home. There's been an accident with Cicero, but we're gonna leave that because we got a side thing to do now. With the Olava's token, we can take this to Whiterun and find Olava the Feeble. She'll give us a little side quest to find a suit of armor. Cannot get this quest unless you do the bonus and kill Gaius in a city. Which, as you can see there, it's really not too hard to do. Let's see, where is she? She is over this way. She's a seer or something? Don't go in there, don't go in there, let me talk to you. Come to Olava for a reading, did you? Sorry, pup, but I'm not quite in the mood. Oh, well that sucks, I have this token for you. Token, you say? Let me see. Oh, goodness me! You're a friend of Gabriella's, then. Well, I guess we both know why you're here. I was told you could see my future. Hmm. Well, yes, yes, I I surely can. It, it's not something I do lightly, mind you, and it's, it's not as specific as you might want, but yes, I, I will do this for you. Please, relax. Free your mind. Yes, that's it. What do you see? There's a cave. No, not a cave. A home. A, a place you feel secure. You will find safety there. Sanctuary. I see snow. Lit by the star of dawn. And you are not alone. There are others, a child of night, a stalker of the sands. Oh, but before you are family, there will be blood, such blood. Wait, there's something else, a potential for adventure and wealth. It is a ruin, ripe for the plunder, deep wood. Read out, far to the northwest, through there is Hag's End, the last resting place of an assassin of old, a dark brother who bequeaths his ancient earthly possessions to you. Is there anything else? No, no, that is all. Now... Now, please, I find myself very weary all of a sudden. Alright, so we got the reading. She said some pretty cryptic stuff that applies to the future of the Dark Brotherhood. But more importantly, we want to go to this Assassin of Old, Deepwood Redoubt here. It's sort of in the middle of nowhere. I think the best way to get there is from Pine Moon. If I remember right, every time I travel here, there's a dragon, there's vampires, there's bears, there's just all sorts of nasty things, so let's be ready for a fight. Also, Lydia, can I have my armor back? We're going dungeon crawling. I want my heavy armor. Which means you get the Nightingale. Let's get going then. Okay, that way. I don't. Oh. Yep, there's the dragon I mentioned. It's a frost. Let's keep him on the ground and start laying into him. We also got Lucian helping us with this, so hopefully it'll go a little faster. Let's hit him with another one of those. Keep him on the ground. Oh, uh, we got a wolf attacking us. Almost there. Okay. 
And there we go. I couldn't help but notice there was a flame at Trinok over that way. Probably something to do with those vampires I mentioned. Come on, give me the soul. Have you heard the tale of Matthew Bellamont and the great treachery of Jaden Hall? Cuboy's mother and vengeance festers in the sun. I think that is a direct reference to the Oblivion storyline for the Dark Brotherhood. The whole reason for all the betrayal had to do with Matthew Bellamont, the guy he just mentioned. Oh, there was the bear I mentioned. There's a dead body over there. I kind of want to move the dead body, and it's just a bear, let's be real. How is a bear going to kill me when I just killed a dragon? This body probably doesn't even have anything useful on it. Amulet of Stendar, not terrible, I suppose. Am I going the right way? I am not. Not at all. I need to go to that quest marker. There is murder in the air. I can taste it. Which means I probably could have avoided the bear, but oh well. I want to try and knock out this dungeon, get the Assassins of Old's armor, and we'll probably call it an episode there. Let's see, four episodes into the Dark Brotherhood, we're making decent progress, I say. Um, Prey awaits us. There are one, two, three, four, five more main quests for the Dark Brotherhood to do. Some of them will be short. I'm thinking there's also a lot of side stuff for us to do at the end with all the other contracts. I'm thinking maybe four more episodes of just the Dark Brotherhood. And we'll be done with our last major faction in the base game. Dude, sounds like a plan to me. Alright, here we go. This is where we need to be. We gotta go through the redoubt to something called the Hag's End. What was that? Maybe with the combat, we will get our level up here. Who knows? Dude, Lucian is just a force to be reckoned with. I feel like we're on easy mode with him here. Alright, we need to go in there, but there's someone up here waiting up for us to kill him. Never should have come here. Uh, I'm trying to block and hit you, but that's not working. There we go. Why am I missing Lydia? See Miko and Lucian. What? Oh, there she is. Us. All right, let's go kill what I can only assume are gonna be Hag Ravens at the end of this place. I think I somewhat remember this dungeon and it actually being a little difficult. That being said, I think we'll be fine this time around. Those traps give you too much warning, really easy to avoid. I don't even know where that trap came from, I just kind of ran through it. I haven't fought any Forsworn in a while, it's kind of nice fighting them after a bunch of terrible uh, Falmer. Okay, they're shooting from up there. There's something over here. Oh, hi there. Did you just pull that lever on me? 
I don't like that. Let's turn that back off. Was there anything else over here? You see all this down here. Looks like it just leads to a dead end, okay. I don't know where Lucian and Lydia went. But I got Miko here with me, and that's good enough. Oh. I see those. Don't want to step on those. Those can be quite dangerous. Just gonna squeeze around those. Oh, that's a key. Oh, I'll face you, all right. I'll face you, and then I'll kill you. Black. <clears throat> Sorry. Black soul gem. Not bad. Oh, see, now I actually need Lydia. Oh, hey. Speak of the devil. She finally shows up when I need her. Uh, you can have that, and that, and that. Never put up those unique weapons, that's fine. Why am I so weighed down? What do I have that's weighing me down so much? Might be because I'm using heavy armor again, maybe. Okay... Back across this way, Lydia cleared out the rooms for me. That key opens a master lock. Right into a trap. Love that. There seem to be a lot of traps here. Miko, please get out of my way. I want to loot the body. Miko. Miko. Me no, I don't want to talk to you. I want to I want to loot the body. Oh, oh god. Fucking shit. Now I'm stuck on the other side. And I got Lucy in here. There we go. I got another ravager up here. Take her out. Are these, like, all female Forsworn? I'm pretty sure I saw a male one in that tunnel just now. But there are definitely a lot of female ones here. I know it's a weird thing. I've noticed it before, but I... I just find it strange when I see all of one gender in an area. I know it... it's probably random. Which just makes it weirder to me that it just happens to randomly be all one gender. Alright, we're going into Deepwood Vale. Oh, we're outside. Okay. Where are we on the map? Uh, we're, we're just here, in the mountains, I guess. I remember Skyrim from my youth, and the glistening crimson okay. I want to say the next way over there is going to be Hag's End. Like, we have this outside bit, then we're going into Hag's End, I think. Take these guys out. Easy. Oh, something's attacking me with magic. Oh, 
Are you a Briarheart? Nope, you're a Ravager, which is still pretty bad. Uh, yeah, you can stay down there, dude. Take them out, then you, then we'll go back for that one guy. Or maybe you. Yeah, let's do you first. Anything good up here? Oh, there's this. With a big fat nothing. I don't have a chance, you say? Oh, is that is that our boy there? I think that might have been our boy. You killed our boy. I cannot forgive that. I cannot forgive you killing our boy. Where were the other ones we killed? Right here, okay. And then there's one more one more guy over here somewhere. Oh Lydia, you're you're doing well. You went after the one I knocked into the water. Good job. You finished him off. I'm sure Lucian could have used your help, though. You abandoned him, and he died. Again, he was already dead, but he died again because you abandoned him. And it's all your fault, Lydia. What are these? Oh, is that like a skeever? I have no idea. Alright, let's take that. Nothing interesting here. Uh, what about over here? There's another tower bit. There's like a camp there. Oh, hi. There's still more of you. Uh, we got a potion of healing. That's not bad. It's not ultimate healing, but it's almost worth it to come up here and grab it. Hi there, and bye. See, at this point, we're just, we're mercy killing them all before they even have a chance to fight back. Uh, that's not a mercy kill, but... It's some kind of kill that we're doing. Okay, further up that way, I assume, is where we're supposed to go. Let's finish looting over here. That cuts across back that way. I do believe we checked into this tower. Had a big fat nothing, that's right, except for... Ice Wolf Pelt. We'll take that and sell that, I guess. Got an Iron Greatsword. I know there's a Forsworn left over here. There has to be, right? Oh, wait. We've already come through here. I was right, though. Flawless Garnet. Not bad. A dog that's blocking me in. That's pretty bad. Got an alchemy station. Anus root, snow berries. Uh, we'll do a quick... Why? 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 Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, do you mind? Can you, can you stop blocking, please? You, you are doing a lot of damage, sir. I don't like that. You, first off... First off, you're stopping me from making potions. 
And second off, you're trying to kill me. I would much prefer if you did neither of those things. So I have removed your ability to do that. Okay. We got a lot of Falmer ears. That's got to be weighing us down. How much do those weigh? Oh, half a pound. That's not as bad as I thought. Not as bad as the bone meal is weighing us down. Let's see, use this. Use those briar hearts we just got. And there we go. There's our potion making. Uh, I don't know where Lydia is. That's fine. She's definitely somewhere. I know she hasn't died. Last I saw her, she was down there where she was killing the one dude. She hasn't come up yet. Note from a Forsworn. Matriarch, we await your orders. Our blades are honed. Our quivers full. Our wills steeled for battle. The time of our waiting has ended. The time for battle is at hand. Yet but to speak the word and the occupiers shall fall like wheat before the reaper. You know, I'm still reading this books, these books that I see, because I assume there's got to be at least one or two skill books that I have not read yet, you know? There's got to be some, somewhere. Okay, we are here at Hag's End, almost to where we need to be. Time to go fight some Hag Ravens. Oh, the armor is like right up there. There's probably going to be another uh, word of power here too. There's Lydia. Finally made it. Uh, oh, there is a Hag Raven here. Uh, Lydia, you just jumped in front of me and blocked me off from them. Oh, why are you here? And there we go. All taken care of. Where, wait, where did... Where did the Hag Raven go? Uh, we are missing a Hag Raven somewhere. Which is never a good thing, mind you. Hopefully I'm just blind and don't see the body. But I'm also pretty sure there's supposed to be like three Hag Ravens at once that we have to fight here. So I don't think that was it. Body is not behind the door. Um, there's a rune there. Nothing beyond it. Oh, there's another one there. Gotta be careful with these. Because they actually do a hefty amount of damage. Like that. I was trying to search this without uh, getting on it. But oh well. Yeah, this Hag Raven body is just gone. I don't know how I'm dodging all those traps so easily. Like, I literally just stood in the middle of all those arrows. Oh uh, yeah, you can take that. That. Probably gonna need to sell more stuff after this episode. 
Which, not ideal, but... Oh well. Okay. Uh, there's another Hag Raven. Oh, it's the same one. It's injured. It ran off. Oh, it teleports away whenever it gets low on health. So it's not three Hag Ravens, it's one Hag Raven three times that I'm remembering. Okay. That suddenly makes sense. But we must be getting close. Where's the way forward, though? Oh, maybe that's how. Alright, anything in this room? We got a glass helmet. That's not bad, but I don't want it. Why does it sound... Okay, that's why it sounds. It sounded like some kind of bug. I was gonna say a chorus, but it was just a spider. Oh yeah, I see. Definitely came from up there. Alright, we gotta hurry this up a little bit. We've almost hit an hour. Am I going that way or this way? That's a master lock. Let me go this way, see if I can get a key for it first. Are you going to teleport away again? You are. Come on. This is just annoying at this point. Did you walk into your own fire trap? Are you stupid? Okay. Don't worry, I will circle back to that master lock there. There's another one here, though. I I'm hoping there's a key for these. But so far, I'm not seeing one. I got a word wall, but the Hag Raven isn't here yet. Okay, I think the actual, like, armor that we're looking for is still in here. But the hag is out here. So we'll be coming back in anyway. Yeah, there she is. What? what where are they? What? I don't... Am I... Oh, they're ice wraiths. Okay, you, you're, you're done. I'm tired of playing this game with you. Hags in key. That is what I was hoping for. Hopefully that will unlock both of the um, master lock chests. Hopefully, there is some kind of better reward here, too. There we go. Damn, that's pretty good. Definitely gonna need Lydia again. Come hither, Lydia. You must carry more heavy stuff. I am at your command. Hopefully she can carry some of this because it's it's getting pretty heavy on her too. She already uh, is at least 50 pounds away from being over encumbered. 
We have just passed an hour. That's how long this is taking. I didn't remember it being this long, but oh well. We're gonna finish it at this point. Let's see, the first lock. Right here. Bunch of BS. There was another lock here, which has even more BS. Um, oh, right here. And this one here. Gold, coin purse, terrible trap. Um, was there another lock I missed? Locate the assassin of old. Lydia, out of the way. Miko, out of the way. right in here oh there's clearly a secret door here and there we go we got the assassin of old it's probably going to give us more armor to over encumber us ancient shrouded armor Which is basically like the Dark Brotherhood armor, but it's ancient and it has better yeah. boosts to it. Lydia, can you yes, carry like literally anything at this point? Okay, that was that was enough. Okay. All right. Well, that concludes everything I wanted to do here. I'm going to exit through the top here so I can hopefully fast travel. And I'm going to sell my stuff in between episodes, clear out my inventory, and we will open up next time with whatever incident was happening at the Dark Brotherhood that we just kind of glossed over. That's going to be next time. Thank you all for watching. And, um, got a great view of the remains of Lucy and Lachance, who I will probably never summon again. But he had some cool dialogue while we had him. But that's going to be gone forever now. Bye bye